Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. Why do I always say that? Well, I say that because I'm seeing a lot of really fancy advertising from a lot of vocal coaches on the internet where they still display absolutely no singing. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors, but look really closely. They're not singing and they show no students singing. And I'm telling you, run from that. If they can't prove it themselves, they can't teach you how to do it. Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. I wanted to do a vocal coach reacts to the Scorpions and the song is called Still Loving You. Um, I did a version myself, I'll put it in the description. You can check it out and see how I stack up to uh, Klaus Mine. But um, I have a backstory on this too and I know I have like all these funny stories, but they're cool, you know, I think, I hope. <laughs> or just turn me off, that's fine too. Um, and at the time um, when this song came out, I was actually living in Germany. Uh, and um, pri actually prior to this, I was signed to a band um, that produced the Scorpions. His name was Dieter Dirks. And we got a record deal with him. And then later, um, the band that I was in, it didn't work out for lots of reasons, but um, Dieter brought me back out um, to a pot audition for uh, the band Accept. And um, it just wasn't my thing. Uh, it was a very heavy and the lyrics were, you know, not something I cared to sing. But uh, anyway, uh, at this time I was in Germany and this song owned planet Earth. I mean, it just swept the world. It was kind of like the song Wind of Change where it just sort of became like the national anthem of, um, and I've used this word before, but solidarity and everyone related to it in a really cool way. Now, the uh, interesting part for me is that the band was known for being pretty stinking heavy. And um, so to come out with their ballads and be so proficient and so successful was phenomenal. So we'll do the song first, we'll talk about it as we go. And uh, Ken Tample Vocal Academy, where the proof's in the singing. Let's rock. Rudolf Shankerman, what a great rhythm player and somewhat lead player and great songwriter. And Michael Shanker, his brother, is one of my all-time favorite guitar players. He was in a band called UFO. Look him up, man. And Matthias Jabs is a great player. And it's time to win and get on again. I'll wear me down. It's great stuff, man. I'll wear me down. What a great crafted song. Spot on vocals. One of the things Dieter told me about Klaus Mine uh, in producing the band, and he had a studio just out of, outside of Cologne, Germany. Uh, Stallman was the name of the place. It was about a 30 minute train ride. Um, and uh, we, I've been there many times was that Klaus could get up at you know 11 or 12 or whatever, but he could sing from like noon until 10 at night, like the whole day. That's what I teach at Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy is that this is really doable. And this guy's stamina is off the charts. So you, you hardly find a bad show with this guy and certainly nothing bad on the records at all. And uh, kudos to you, man, Klaus, awesome stuff. So let's continue, here we go. Yes, jabs, go, baby. So European, I just love that. Fight, baby, fight. To win and get all again. I'll win with them. I'll win with them. By the way, no background vocals, man. He's alone by himself with this stuff. Now, um, again, a technical side of this is that um, Klaus uses a lot of men. Win back your love. 
And I talk about this, again, if you click on in the description, my version of this, I go through a takedown of uh, analyzing you know, his voice and the band or whatever. But um, it's worth noting because it actually helps him out a lot. He doesn't carry a lot of muscle mass up in his throat, which is really great. And he's able to um, point his vowels really far forward into the face, which helps him uh, not drag too much weight up. A lot of times when you tour and you're doing this night after night, it's pretty tough um, to not over sing and get that really thick sort of sound. And he's able to you know, thin out that sound as he goes up top, which is awesome. to make a guitar a guitar player comment it's really cool um, I've had both those guitars in the past but um, you're looking at a Gibson Explorer um, and then you're looking at um, a flying V a V both Gibson guitars it's interesting how they were able to get a lot different tones out of the guitars and I notice their pickups are different and they play through different amps and stuff um, but their styles and what's in their hands made them also so different so a lot of the tone was in their hands and so as you're looking at Matthias Jabs um, and you're looking at um, uh, Schenker you, you you hear such different personalities come out of guitars just a little instrumental side note for you but anyway let's rock what tone Guys, if you know it, sing along. There's a German accent. There's very few bands uh, that can actually hold their own where the lead singer doesn't have to have all kinds of stuff going on and a bunch of background singers or whatnot. And there's value to that. I mean, of course, there's the Eagles. I'm going to put out one of the Eagles. I'm going to put out a, a thing with um, uh, Sticks, for example, like all kinds of bands that do have great you know, background, Kansas, background vocal background vocals. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Um, and, but to hold your own, Dio was one, Klaus was another, um, you know, Iron Maiden was another, Sammy Hagar was another, is another, whatever. And, um, you know, so there's a, a Coverdale. There's a few bands where there's just one guy out front without, I mean, he's alone and he's got to carry the load of, of the whole night and make it sound this great. And that's really tough to do, guys. I'll do the harmonies for you, Klaus. Um, 
Rudolf Schenker's guitar playing is very different than Matthias Jobs. He was the one that actually came up with like the very melodic lines, and Matthias is more of a technical player of the fast stuff. But the whole band works together to make this thing really, really cool, man. I, again, I saw them live. I got the chance um, a long time ago. Oh, man, it was, uh, I want to say it was 84, something like that. Um, to go backstage and you know hang out with them and you know Ozzy and uh, Bon Jovi and Def Leppard and all these different bands. Um, it was on the Monsters of Rock tour and we got to be on a, a part of that tour. And um, so it was really interesting to see their personalities. Just they're actually just sweet guys. Just you know. You wouldn't even, if you saw them at a grocery store, you'd have no idea that they're the Scorpions. And that was actually true for John Bon jo Jovi, too. Um, uh, Elliot, you know, was a little to himself. Ozzy was kind of pacing around like he always does. He's like warming up, whatever. And there was a lot of cool bands on the bill, but uh, they were headlining. And that was Monsters of Rock, I want to say it was 84 or something like that. But I got a chance to, you know, interact and have some fun with them. So it was cool. All right. What a great line. Now, um, that reminds me, it's reminiscent, and I'm gonna close with this. It's reminiscent, uh, a song called Town Without Pity. And if you look up um, the Ronnie Montrose version of that, even though I know it's kind of a 40s vibe, but Ronnie was a heavy rock dude. In fact, my cousin Sammy Hagar came from that band originally and then branched off from there. But listen to Town Without Pity and then listen to this end guitar line and you'll see some similarities and um, just the memorable, very memorable guitar lines. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me. Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. And until next time, peace out. Hey guys, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. That will actually take you to another page where you want to click on the bell icon and it opens up a menu and the menu has notifications on it where there's a little box you can check where it says send me all notifications for this channel. Check the box and then click the save button and you'll get notifications from me every time I have a cool video come out. Okay, thanks guys. Peace out. Oh.